time for another installment of Oh My God. Hi everybody, welcome to the Oh My God segment of the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm joined as always by the third place winner of the Harvey Keitel Lookalike Contest. It's my good friend, former writer for The Daily Show, Steve Rosenfield. Hey Steve, how are you? Good, Jimmy, how are you? <laughs> we don't have any... That's all I had ready for that. We don't have anything That's famous for Harvey Keitel, any of his... Uh... I don't know nobody named Iris. <laughs> ah, okay, there we That's go. Good. And of course, it's Ben Mankiewicz from Turner Classic Movies. Hello, what's, Ben. What's up, fellas? All right, hey, so right now, Mike uh, Huckabee, and I don't know if you know who Mike Huckabee is. He's, um, he's a pastor who also happens to be a duplicitous lying douchebag. So it makes it even worse because he pretends to be a good person and he uses Jesus. He wraps all his bullshit in the Bible. And he plays music, so he seems cool. And he play, you know, he doesn't seem cool to me. Yeah, it's, a fair, it's a fair point. I instantly right. regretted saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seems cool to those morons who watch him on Fox News. But uh, so here he is. Here's his ideas on how uh, we what, what why the Connecticut tragedy happened. Ready? Tragedies like this. Um, how could God let this happen? Well, you know, it's an interesting thing. Uh, we, we ask why there's violence in our schools, but we've systematically removed God from our schools. Should we be so surprised that schools would become a place of carnage because we've made it a place where we don't want to uh, talk about eternity, life, what, what responsibility means, accountability, that we're not just going to have to be accountable to the police if they catch us, but one day we stand before, uh, you know, a holy God in judgment. If we don't believe that, then we don't, we don't fear that. And, and so I, I sometimes when people say, why did God let it happen? You know, God wasn't armed. He didn't go to the school. Uh, but God will be there in the form of a lot of people with hugs and uh, with therapy and a whole lot of ways in which I think he will be involved in the aftermath. Uh, maybe we ought to let him in on the front end and we wouldn't have to call him to show up when it's all said and done and at the back end. Yes, yeah, see, that's how God manifests, manifests himself on earth right after a tra tragedy. All the hugging. That's how you know there's <laughs> a God. That's God, the hugs. It's the hugs from the gods. And Afterwards, after this shit yeah. goes down. And the way it works, let me explain it to you guys. The way it works, God's going to let bad things happen until everybody believes in him, which will explain the last 2,000 fucking years, okay? <laughs> so some of you slackers better, you know. <laughs> He's... So again, because if we haven't, so if God isn't allowed into into our schools, God's going to just turn his head and let a bunch of kindergartners get slaughtered, right? While Mike Huckabee was talking, I googled the word church, and then I typed in S H, and very quickly what comes up is church shootings. <laughs> of which, <laughs> of you mean which, there've been church shootings? Not one ever. Now you Google it, <laughs> and it says, "Ha, ah, psych! There's never been one." <laughs> um, yeah. There are a tremendous number of church shootings, and I don't know where, how Mike Huckabee would answer the where is God question mm. to that. Okay, so there's never been a church, oh, I didn't, what are you saying? No, no, I'm kidding. There's yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like there's dozens, you just read through yeah. them. There's church shootings. Yeah, there was, you know, killed, that, that, yeah, there was a couple years ago, somebody killed five or six people in a church. Just uh, a, a guy killed his ex-wife in a church while she was playing the piano and, in Pennsylvania and, earlier this month. And in a, in a, Oh, really? Yeah. And then in a mosque, wasn't there a bunch of killings in a mosque recently? Yeah, the Sikh temple. The Sikh temple, yeah. and, right? And then plus, uh, the baby killer, George Tiller, that's what they used to call him, right? The abortion doctor who was gunned down, was gunned down in church. Yeah, he was gunned down in yeah. church. There right. have been, there are church. I mean, all you need, again, you type in church and SH and... So there it is everywhere. So you you're telling me that Mike Huckabee um, didn't take two seconds to do a Google search, or he wasn't aware of this information, or he is aware of this information, and he's a huge piece of shit. I vote for B. C. Oh, is there, I didn't <laughs> realize C? there were only two choices. I think it's yeah. C. Yeah. 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 Okay, huge. Okay, so that's that was, I didn't I didn't think to Google that, but that was great. That's why you're here, Ben. That's right. That's, that's what what's I, happening. That's what I bring to the table. All right. A computer. Uh, right. <laughs> You know, a follow-up question for Huckabee might, might have been good there. Yeah. Would have been good. Uh, oh, right. I'm sure, I think Jimmy just cut it off before Neil Cavuto yeah. hammered it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Neil Cavuto. So, wait a minute. Yeah. So stay, staying on the, um, uh, on the same theme, we're going to go to Brian Fisher. Brian Fisher's been on the show before. He's, uh, he's head of a group called Focus on the Family Assholes. And um, <laughs> no, he's got his own show. I forget what the name of his show is. but uh, it's, it, got, it's got like the worst name ever. Isn't yes. it baffling? It's like... It's, yeah. I'll get it and we'll put it in post. All right. Okay, we won't do that. So here we go. Here's, uh, here's Brian Fisher. Here's his ideas. You know, the question is going to come up, well, where was God? I thought God cared about the little children. God protected the little children. Where was God when all this went down? And here's the bottom line. 
God is not going to go where he's not wanted. Yes. See, God's kind of a self-centered egomaniac that way. But what are you going to do? <laughs> he's God. He's God. <laughs> he's got the job. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. Now, we have spent since 1962, this we're 50 years into this now, we have spent 50 years telling God to get lost, telling God we do not want you in our schools. We don't want to pray to you in our schools. We don't want to pray to you before football games. We don't want to pray to you uh, be at graduation. We don't want anybody talking about you in a graduation speech. Uh, we don't want anybody referring to you. Uh, we have done, we, we don't want your word read in our schools. So in 1962, we kicked prayer out of the schools. In 1963, we kicked the word of God out of schools. In 1980, we kicked the Ten Commandments out of schools. We have kicked God out of our public school system. And I think God would say to us, hey, I'll be glad to protect your children, but you got to invite me back into your world first. I'm not going to go where I'm not wanted. I am a gentleman. See, so don't you people get it? God is like the mafia, and praying is like protection money. <laughs> and if you don't pray, God says, ah, you got a nice, uh, nice, nice school you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> Blackmail is an ugly word. <laughs> yes. I don't want to call it blackmail. <clears throat> uh, Brian Fisher's group there, the American Family Association, has been called a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, mm -hmm. just so we know where he's, uh, he's coming from. And back in uh, August of this year, uh, he suggested that we needed sort of like an uh, anti-slavery underground railroad system now, today, to rescue children of same-sex couples. Mm. This is this guy who's talking right now. That's that right guy right there. You, Good plan. Yeah. Good plan. Yeah. So you're trying to show me that he doesn't always have clear thinking. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I, know, I mean, he sounds like on his game here, yes. but sometimes See, I thought he gets it was a, a crackpot, but that shows that <laughs> but, he's really right in the Right, because he wants to, first of all, we need infrastructure. He wants a railroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. I Bring like back the, the railroads. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's all about we kicked the Ten Commandments out. We took the Bible out of school, and that's why God is letting all this happen. Because, you know, as, as we've learned time and time again, nothing stops a bullet like the 23rd Psalm. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. So if I were an actual member of the clergy, I would be angrier at this guy than anybody would on the left is. Because like you saw what happened there and first of all, the, this community, Sandy Hook, around Sandy Hook Elementary, this by all accounts was an incredibly faithful community. Right. A dedicated religious right. people. And like the behavior of the Monsignor there in the days after the shooting has been, like he's been awesome. He's been like reaching out to people and bringing people together. and. You know, they have that interfaith service, and, and then this crackpot gets on here, and I mean, and this is the guy in America giving religion a bad name, ruining religion for the rest of us. Um, and, but I say that it's, it's the people who are considered sane religious people who give people like this the ability to do stuff like this, because they don't call them out enough. They get, they've covered to these people because, you know, when was the last time somebody pointed a finger at a, a asshole preacher like this and said, stop it. These guys aren't Christians. These guys are hate mongers. No one's ever done that. I'm, I'm talking about political leaders. You can't really the question only, faith. Right. That, that's a line that nobody wants to cross. Can't ever question someone's faith. Right. Well, did, uh, did anybody ever try, somebody tried to stand up. Oh, I think it was John McCain. He stood up to Liberty University and Jerry Falwell, and you saw what they did to him. And so when he wanted to get the nomination, he had to go back and kiss their asses, yes, right? Yeah, right? He had to go back to Jerry F Falwell and all that, and, 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 and you know, suck his caucus. And um, <laughs> his raucous caucus from before, remember? Right, so that's, see, that's my problem. So we, you can watch Fisher, and we all go, oh, that guy's a moron. Right, but until he gets significantly criticized by other right. sort of members who wouldn't even agree with us, who might be it's on the right wing, but, like, but who are good, principled religious leaders need to stand up. And to me, it's like the this. same thing when regular, when mainstream news reporters um, don't uh, pretend like Fox News isn't, is news. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that they, they didn't allow, they weren't going to allow the White House, uh, the Fox News reporter, either yeah, on they the. they did, yeah. Yes. For, for, and, then for a while. The, and then the rest of them stood up, no, you have to let them in, they're not. Right. 
It's like they're not news, and we've proved so. That to me, it's it's the same kind of thing. Mike Huckabee is considered mainstream, but he's not. He's just as crazy. Obviously, yeah. we just he showed. He plays the guitar. He's awesome. <laughs> he plays rock and roll. Rock and roll. Christian rock. He plays Christian. First of all, in Christian rock, there's no such thing. Rock and roll is a music of rebellion. Okay, you can't have Christian rock. What's next? Christian porn? You can't have it. <laughs> Good idea, though. So if anyone, has, you know. Okay. Uh, here's my new Christian dildo. <laughs> His name is Mike Huckabee. Yeah. All right, we lend it with a laugh. Thank you, guys. That's Ben Mankiewicz, Steve you. Rosenfield.